Stephanie Sims here with another video for you. Today I will be giving you a tour of a shell challenge that I completed, I want to say maybe about two or so weeks ago, um, for Soros Sims on the gallery or that Soros on Twitch. I'll have her information linked in the description below. But basically her shell challenge for this month were four different boxes of different shapes where you couldn't adjust the size of the boxes or get rid of any of the walls but you can move them around the lot however you wanted you can stack them if you wanted to i decided to keep them separated and i created a summer camp so welcome to llama lagoon summer camp which is in newcrest on the avarice acres lot I want to say I'll definitely double check that. Um, it is CC free and you can download it on the gallery, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick little tour of this build here. So let me tell y'all, this took me forever. Let me move down a little bit so you can see. So right in the beginning in this entrance, which you have here is um, where cars can come in and cars go out. So it's like a one way in, one way out. Um, right to the right in the entrance is the little guards hut. So like when you come in, if you need to know where to go or you need to get checked in, this is how you come in right here. And don't mind the different terrain here. I have a, um, terrain replacement in my game. And so the actual tiles get replaced, but part of that is terrain paint. So if I took that out, this would actually be the same colors, but it's not, please excuse me. But you come in and you have this sign right away and over to the left, we have the little statue that is waving goodbye as people leave. But you know, we come in, you have the sign that lets you know you need to come around the circle this way. And right to our right, we have a camping ground where campers can go ahead and camp. But we're just going to continue going forward for a moment just so that we can see what's happening. So you come in and right at the end of the drive, you have the, um, I guess this is called a registration center or the main office. Um, there's a little map over here, a bench, and then there's a parking lot over on this side. We're going to go into the... main office first so it's one building here and when you come into the main office it's very small it was the smallest building actually it's just one little desk here some seats for people to sit um when you come back here you have your file cabinets and little post-its and everything some more pictures of fire hydrant and then over on this side i am using these as like little staff mailboxes so like if there's memos that the staff needs to get they can get this from here there's also a package there maybe for staff and then there's a restroom i'm not going to go in and show the restroom because if you've seen one bathroom you've seen them all it's very simple um when you come around here um, it's really quickly you're just coming to the back of the main office here you have a little air conditioner a little place to sit and then there's another place to sit with a uh, what is this called a bird feeder yes a bird feeder and then just over on this side I'll bring you over the hedge um, you can see the parking lot with a parking meter because our camp is for profit and we need money y'all <laughs> it's all about the money and then some more plants and things on the porch. Um, I have not yet decided if I wanted to move this over into Granite Falls, but it is highly likely that it can be. So we're gonna actually go over into this area over here. So when you come this way, I'm gonna move down a little bit so it's kinda like where on the path. So when you come this way, you see we have some, um, during there's a tree, you can see some more of the campgrounds and lands over there. We're gonna move this, go over this path here. And what we're going to see is we are now seeing the mess hall. So there's actually places for um, campers to sit outside and eat if they would like to. However, there are also places inside the mess hall. So when you come into the mess hall, um, I use the Discover University little cafe area here and then there's the, um, I, I don't know what these things are called, I guess they're turnstiles. 
I, I feel like that's the wrong word to use, but you have that there, which keeps people going here first. You got to have that little hand sanitizer, y'all. You know, the Rona's out there. So you have your hand sanitizer with the Sims. They sanitize their hands and then they come over here, get their food and they can come this way. There's a little coffee maker and there's a little dishwasher um, here because you got to make sure that those dishes get clean. And then there's some indoor seating, but then there's a door where you can come right outside to the back. And back here, there's also a grill, some wood, a dumpster, and then little places here because maybe they have little barbecues at some point. Um, there's also the gardening tools and a hose. Why did I put it on a cafe, y'all? I don't know, but I did. I put it on a mess hall. And then when you come around this way, you um, have some more seating and then the small little plaque here. And then we're gonna go look at some of the ground. So when you're going into um, Llama Lagoon Summer Camp, they do have camping grounds over here where they can basically sleep outside in tents. That's not to say that they don't have um, a cabin because they do, but you know, come out here in the tent, there's a little picnic basket. And then we have a place where they can fish or they can go on the little lake in the boat. And then this here is a dock that was damaged a summer ago and it has not been fixed yet because as I say, yes, we're for profit, but we ain't making much money, y'all. So send your sim kids here so we could fix this little dock. You know, we want our sims to have some fun, but we can't have the kids on here. That's a lawsuit waiting to happen and uh-uh. Uh, Llama Lagoon ain't got no money. We ain't paying your sims for your children doing some crazy mess. But definitely send your sim children here. So now we're going to go over to the cabin to see where the children sleep. Um, and y'all, I'm really enjoying this build. So what might actually happen is I might end up doing a Llama Lagoon machinima um because i really like this so this is the cabin it's actually to the left when um you're well it'll be on the right when you're actually leaving the camp we're gonna go inside to the cabin here so we can see what's happening so we have ooh, why was that so fast so we have this little entryway here there's the um umbrellas and i don't know why i got this bucket with the griddle no but i got it we got it we have a little board with some information y'all they are promoting the galaxy s9 don't ask me why but we are um and then on this side here we have a little mirror we a little kids so we can't really see ourselves which is why we so short um and shoes out here but then you come inside the cabin and what you have when you first come in are the beds i'm gonna move this up just a little bit so you have the beds with the dressers right on the end and each child has something different on the dresser i guess to show a little bit of their personality you also have um clothes hanging above the beds as well as photos um i am pretending that these photos are of different families that the children may have one child has a package another has some letters the other brought their um headphones and all of the bed frames are the same but the bedding itself is different because in my head children bring their own bedding to camp maybe i'm wrong i ain't been to summer camp in forever y'all let me know in the comments if you bring your own bed into camp because i don't even know do you do that i don't know Oh, and over here we have the little scout board in this room here let me just move down and this room here is the camp counselor's room so the camp counselor has a room to themselves they have this little bed here i think this is from eco lifestyle i don't remember y'all they have a board here from discover university that has a calendar on it and how do i oh i'm going down let me move up that, from discover university with the calendar on here they also have a desk with um i forget i think this um thing on the wall comes from parenthood i can't remember where it came from but i love this and i use it all the time i think it looks really cute for like organization and things like that and of course this is a discover university um it's or but we're gonna pretend that this door is for like the camp that's a little 
a mascot of the camp like maybe it's kids who may be going to Brightchester soon or kids who want to go to Brightchester it's a camp run by that university I don't know but then you come in here and you have your toilets there's two toilets two sinks with the mirrors I know you don't do your laundry at camp but I wanted to fill that space and so I gave them a washer and dryer we a little bit bougie here at this camp but that's okay then we have our shower stalls and a mirror with a little hamper because we got our laundry going on and so we're gonna leave out of here and go over to the last building in camp and the last building in camp is basically like the little um, activity center where the kids can do different things um, in camp like they could take different classes and it's this building right over here and so I put the birdhouse from Eco Lifestyle. I think it is so cute in this little mix match way but you come into this place here and it's like a long hallway with doors on either side. I have the little chore board from um, Parenthood. I think it's called the Family Bulletin Board and then this is a nature picture but it's just a long hallway and I'm gonna move up just a little bit so you can see that each of these are numbered rooms one two three four when you come into room one okay this is looking all distorted I, I need to I'll, let me move out a little bit and then move down so when you come into room one the children can learn painting here at this camp you have some sketches and things on the wall there's canvas and paint and a tarp on the floor on this side over here y'all you would think I don't know how to use build camp I don't use this forever and now I can't get it together on this side because there may be younger children at the camp as well you have the little activity or crafting table whatever this thing is called and we have some children art on the wall because these kids at camp they be getting and so it. and then over in room two we have a music room there's the um, mix master station or whatever it's called there's the keyboard maybe somebody comes in here and sings we have some instruments over on this side oh this is so distorted y'all why can't I get this together what's wrong with me I'm sorry this look crazy and then in room three hello excuse me in room three it is the woodworking room so children come in here when they want to make wooden crafts and things like that in the corner there is a statue that somebody at the camp made there's wood on the wall in my head this is where they get the wood from I know it's just like a little design thing but we are gonna let me just let me be great just let me be great and then over in room four excuse me it's our little candle making room where stu uh, students campers can make um, candles I have the little fire hazard thing on the wall like you can burn this camp up and we don't want that to happen because I spent forever making this camp there's candles on the wall here and over here and good lord I need to get out of this place because I'm over here all distorted so basically y'all that is camp llama lagoon um i absolutely love this build it took me forever but i took my time i wanted to be very particular about the details and i tried my best so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna why am i so distorted y'all how i fix this whatever don't mind my terrain paint i promise you if you download it and you don't have cc in your game because there's no cc in this bill and it's on the gallery um with my gallery name tasha monet um you could definitely download it there but i promise you y'all that if you download this and you use it in your game you will have such a great time hopefully somebody makes a camp mod or maybe I'll attempt to make a camp mod to go with this camp because I really like it and I definitely do want to um, try using it um, in either an LP or a machinima but y'all thank you so much for watching this video again as I said if you want to download this this is definitely on the gallery and I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little sneak peek
of that source's next challenge it is right up there and if you would like to definitely join her challenge i will definitely make sure that i put info in the description for you if you like this video and you want more content like this definitely make sure that you like comment and subscribe and as always i am sending you positive vibes your way i'm tasha monet see you next time